Ayo hey, peeps, what's up? V here. Today we have some some sun, some some heat. It's good. So we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you five new Funkos I have to show you for you guys in my collection that goes, and maybe you will get them someday if you want to. So see you soon. What is up, peeps? V here! Yay! Another Funko episode from my collection that I am bringing you to you guys to see what goodies I found. Today I have five Funkos. Same as always, these goodies come from two shops. Uh, one is a regular go-to shop, it's called Bilka. They had some very awesome discounts, and when I'm saying very awesome discounts, I found a Funko at two euros and a half. And the other four are at the Geek Shop that I always like to shop here in my uh, hometown. Shout out to Games and Gadgets for bringing goodies to the store, of course. Without further ado, let's start with the first Funko, which is... Boom. This is Vegito. Who is Vegito, you might ask? Well, it's Vegeta. <laughs> uh, with um, uh, one of the rings in his... Uh, uh, rings, Jesus, E-rings in his ear. Uh, I found it at two years and a half and it had like crap on its stickers and whatnot. I tried to clean it as best as possible. As you can see, yeah, I still have to clean it a little bit, but it goes into my collection, obviously. I know there's a metallic version, but it's pretty difficult to actually find it because I haven't seen it in stores. So, this comes with the new wave, new wave. Um, Cell Super Saiyan Goku with Kamehameha, which has a glow in the dark version as well. Vegito, uh, Dr. Gero, Super Saiyan Gohan, eating noodles, and Kami. Really cool find. I'm gonna give it that. And to find it for like two euros and a half, that's like, I don't know, it's almost for free. You never find Funkos these cheap. Never, ever, ever. I rarely find them, but here I am. So, today, first one to go into my collection will be a Vegito. Next, we're going into the Funkos that I got from the Geek Shop, as mentioned, from Games and Gadgets. First up, we start with, boom, Eri from My Hero Academia, the special edition. Who is Eri? Eri is like um, the niece, can say niece, of a Yakuza, mem uh, Yakuza head clan from My Hero Academia that was born with a quirk that has the ability to erase well much more powerful than eraser heads quirk and erases quirks basically uh, her blood they consider it cursed or whatnot but she's a really cool character she um is being saved by uh, mirio togata and uh, by deku obviously um deku explores infinite uh, his infinite quirk up to 100% uh, together with Aries quirk a lot of things go on with this anime I'm an anime fan and a geek so if you're not an anime fan uh, start watching My Hero Academia to be honest you might start liking it uh, this is Aerie in her school thingy dress up whatnot on the back we have of course Mirio Togata Le Million uh, Tamaki Majiki, Sword Noitai, uh, Ryukyu, Infinite Deku with Eri, which has a Funko Shop exclusive one, Glow in the Dark, Ijiro Unbreakable Skin, and the Jumbo um, uh, Deku, blah, Deku with Eri. And of course, 
a smaller area, which is in her clothing. Oh my god, I hit the camera. Uh, in the clothing that she was uh, held in, and I don't know if she has bandages on her. I think she does. From what I see, yes, she does have bandages on her head. So this is Eri, a very cute character. Come on, focus. Focus, there we go. Very cute character from My Hero Academia. Really suggest you guys watch it. It's very awesome, to be honest. Second Funko, third for today actually, but second from is Inosuke Hashibira from Demon Slayer. But I showcased you already guys uh, Inosuke's um, Funko from Demon Slayer. This one is a special edition with Inosuke sleeping with his boar head. This is how he sleeps. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this Funko. It's a little bit lazy. Why? Because a couple of um, years ago, they released, Funko released, uh, Yamcha sleeping in the same position as this, basically, from Dragon Ball. So basically, what they did is, they repainted it a bit and put Inosuke's head on. Put in a new box, and boom! With a special edition sticker, obviously. <laughs> and you have a new Funko. So, in my opinion, it's lazy, but I'm an anime fan, and... <clears throat> A Demon Slayer fan, obviously. Uh, it comes in a collection with the first wave of uh, Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu, Inosuke, and Muzan. Because, yeah, that's uh, what's the first wave, and basically, this should be a part of the second wave, but it's not, so here's that. Inosuke, very awesome character, piggy like. <laughs> uh, he likes to fight all the time, as mentioned before in other video. Um, not much to say. He's very strong in his own way, very stubborn, and very interesting character, all in all. But yeah, here's Inosuke sleeping on a side <laughs> with his boar head on. Next Funko, it's not anime, but it is from Marvel. We have, boom, Black Cat from the animated series Spider-Man. Ah, I have so mixed feelings about this. The, the reason why I got it is because it's from the anime series and I am a very huge fan of the animated series of Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. Those were like childhood thingies for me, but... Black Cat, um, <clears throat> she is one of the, how should I say, not necessarily a hero, an anti-hero, can we call her an anti-hero, I don't know, uh, she kind of is like Catwoman in DC, she likes to steal stuff, um, basically this is Felicia Harvey, with some serum in her from the Super Soldier uh, program, modified, uh, basically she's kind of like Captain America. <laughs> You might say she's kind of like Captain America. She was created basically by her father. Um, she's a multi-millionaire during day, during night. She likes to steal stuff in the black hat uh, suit. She's a good ally to Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man falls in love with her several times in the comics and all those shaz. Yeah, too much drama to get into it. But it's a very cool character, very cool Funko to have. Uh, in the back, you can see the whole uh, line. Basically, it's Spidey, Dr. Octopus, Black Cat, 
Hobgoblin, which actually there's a version with a t-shirt, which I'm actually after. And of course, Madam Web. Really cool phone call with Madam Web. Not much to say more about it, other than put it on the spinner for you guys to see it and put it into my collection. <laughs> is again from anime I'm gonna surprise you and it is boom Gyomei Himejima from Demon Slayer this is one of the I forgot how many uh, Demon Slayers they're like leaders that uh, Demon Slayers that like they are top notch Demon Slayers this is one of them the normal version is him without the tears the chase has these tears right here uh, nothing glow in the dark, nothing too special to whatnot. Uh, very awesome Funko. Uh, it's a very expensive Funko nowadays to actually find. I bought it at retail, but to be honest, to buy it as a normal one uh, from a collector or something, it's gonna cost you a penny or two. I'm gonna give it that. But this is Gyome in my collection, the cheese version. You can see it here because it's a lazy cheese, of course. Um, they didn't change the box. This is the normal Guillaume, and yeah, you can see at the chase he has his um, tears here. Yeah, you can see here as well. Oh, uh, what else? Any other changes? Can't see any other changes. Mm, no. Um, of course, on the back, it's again the first line Tanjiro Nezuko Zenitsu, blah blah blah. Uh, he's like a captain for the Demon Slayers. Pretty powerful one uh, if I'm not gonna spoil anything <laughs> I don't know where you guys maybe you only saw the first season of Demon Slayer on Netflix and uh, yeah there you only see a glimpse basically of him uh, he's a pretty interesting character he's pretty strong but yeah I'm not gonna spoil more <laughs> in the uh, manga and the other series uh, stuff happened I can all say stuff happened so but doesn't matter, I got myself Gyome, the cheese version, and it's going into my collection. That was all for today peeps, hope you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section below Did you get any of these Funkos, do you have them in your collection, and if so, which one do you have? Of course, I got myself these, and I'm happy <laughs> uh, Don't forget to like this video, share with a friend, subscribe if you did not subscribe and hit that notification bell And of course, if you'd like to support me to increase my collection, to showcase you guys more stuff, more goodies and so on Link to in the description below, I have a Patreon, if you would like to support me financially, you have there the link. Would be much appreciated, but you're not obligated. Hope you're staying safe out there, together, with your friends, and of course family. And until next time, uh, bye bye